Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports coming to you to talk to you about a match that was made for uh, WWE SummerSlam August 18th. It was made official last night. And before I begin, I usually don't just sit here and talk about one match when I'm doing an article or recording a video, but I chose this match to talk about for a couple of different reasons. One, because I saw the beginning, beginning where the seeds were planted for this match, and two, I'm a big fan of both competitors in different ways, and three, uh, I'm also a UFC fan, which uh, makes my interest even a little bit higher than normal for a match like this. Uh, last night on WWE Monday Night Raw, it was made official that CM Punk would take on Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, and they're billing it as the best versus the beast. And I got to tell you, from a wrestling standpoint, I'm super excited. As obviously, as everybody knows, CM Punk is my favorite wrestler. Um, but Brock Lesnar was also a favorite of mine at one point in time uh, before he left WWE. I'm glad he's back in WWE. I just was never happy about the way he left and how he performed in his last match. Um, from a UFC standpoint, I think it's going to be kind of cool. Because I am a UFC fan. I've been a UFC fan since I was a kid when... Uh, I was watching Dan Severn uh, versus Ken Shamrock, who, oddly enough, both competed in WWE, but uh, I think you're going to see a lot of MMA stuff in this match. Um, and, you know, and UFC fans, please don't get mad at me. I know wrestling is scripted. I get all that. Um, but I think it's still going to be kind of cool uh, that you're probably going to see a lot of mixed martial arts stuff in this match uh, number one because obviously as we all know Brock Lesnar is a former UFC heavyweight champion uh, who Dana White absolutely loved but what a lot of people don't know and a lot of just younger people um, and WWE fans who really don't do research on you know the performers uh, CM Punk uh, trains at the Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy with uh, you know the Gracies and he is very very he's got a very very um, strong background in Jiu Jitsu and mixed martial arts as well so I really think you're not going to see a typical wrestling match out of this uh, number one I think you're going to see a lot of submissions um, probably towards the middle of the match I really think obviously Lesnar's uh, phenomenal strength will come into play but um, I really think that the MMA style plus um, CM Punk and Brock Lesnar's own personal wrestling styles and what they do in a professional wrestling ring I think the combination of all three of those things are going to be going to be a great match, and I personally think, and this is no disrespect to John Cena or Daniel Bryan, but SummerSlam should be being built around CM Punk and Brock Lesnar. Um, a lot of people consider it a dream match. A lot of uh, people think it's going to be um, a down down out street fight brawl type situation but but considering that like I said Lesnar and Punk both have um, pretty good backgrounds pretty decent backgrounds in MMA I could, I could see this being a very very physical match I could see somebody coming out of this match very hurt I can definitely see that um, I think it's good in the sense that 
CM Punk needs something big to kind of get him over the hump again and uh, get him kind of reestablished as a dominant guy in WWE because, I mean, so far, I mean, he's wrestled Trish Jericho in his return match, had the Money in the Bank All-Stars match, and now he's facing Lesnar, but he he really needs something to, you know, set the tone that he is the best wrestler in the company. Um, nobody can outshine him, with maybe the exception of Daniel Bryan right now, but... Um, like I said, I, I, I am genuinely excited for this match. And I always, I always look back on this match and tell myself, I, I got to see the first part of this feud. Um, I was actually in attendance the night after, uh, WWE payback. I was, in, I was in attendance at, uh, Monday Night Raw, where CM Punk uh, was celebrating in the ring, and out of nowhere, uh, Brock Lesnar showed up and uh, gave an F5 to uh, CM Punk. So I will always kind of look back on this match and be like, hey, I was a part of that match. I was a part of the buildup for this match. And uh, like I said, I usually don't talk just about single matches but Brock Lesnar CM Punk SummerSlam Best versus the Beast you know the Wolverine versus Hulk um, that's what a lot of people look at is because Brock Lesnar's built like the Hulk and CM Punk is really looking like Wolverine these days and I just uh I just think, and this is no disrespect to anybody that's ever wrestled Brock Lesnar, I think uh, this probably will be Brock Lesnar's best match to date, other than the match at WrestleMania 19 with Kurt Angle. I really think CM Punk is going to break out, uh, break out the best in Brock Lesnar. Um, like I said, that's no uh, no disrespect to anybody else that's worked with Brock Lesnar, but considering that they both have the common, you know, ground of being Paul Heyman's friends and being, you know, guys that Paul Heyman has supported, um, I really think you're going to see these uh, two steal the show and put on an epic match for the ages. So with that being said... August 18th, SummerSlam, The Beast, Brock Lesnar versus the best in the world, CM Punk. This is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports, your source for all things sports. And remember as always, controversy doesn't come without criticism.